Great pick list and field dependencies. Sales operation divides AW computing sales territory into regions and zones. Yuko Ishikawa would like to be able to identify each account records by its region and the zone. Allison Wheeler, VP of Global Sales, would like to track the reason opportunities are being won or lost, ensuring that users can select only the appropriate reasons and only when the opportunity is at closed one and closed lost. To accomplish what they want, you set up picklists and field dependencies. Picklists offer a selection of options available for specific fields in a Salesforce object, such as lists of regions. The users can then choose a single value from a list of options rather than make an entry directly in the field, which cuts down on errors and helps keep data clean. Field dependencies are filters that allow us to change the contents of a picklist based on the value of another field. Rather than displaying every value for a region in a single picklist, you can limit the values that are displayed based on a value for another field like zone. That way, our users can find the appropriate option more quickly and easily. Yuko and Allison both provide the information you need via chatter post, so let's get to it. Create picklist and field dependencies. Start by creating a global picklist value set called region. From setup, enter picklist value set. Picklist. There we go, and the quick one box. So let's click new and fill in the details. So let's do this. There's no pick this value, set left label region. Name of auto populate. Here's does description. We just copy paste it there. And now we have the values which are the different regions. And now create a custom picklist field called region on the lead and account objects. Okay, let's go to the object manager, select our lead. Relationships, click new. Pick list as the data type. Click next. Enter region. Use global pick list value set and select region, I suppose. Yes. For description and to okay, let's copy this. And for the help text, let's copy this as well. Click next. Read only deselect sales user. So for everyone what the sales user this is only supposed to be selectable and not editable. Makes sense. Now we have it saved. Create the same field on the account object following the same steps. Okay, let's do this account field and relationships. New pick list. I don't think I will remember anything of this stuff in practice, by the way, but I think doing this kind of stuff over and over again makes it easier when. Uh, to remember at least a little bit when it's time to create 
a completely new org, for example, from scratch, which I suppose is going to happen in one of the projects. From the trailhead, that is. Okay, read only. Deselect sales user. Save it. And now that's done. Now the next step create a custom field called loan in the account object editable by sales users only. Choose pick list as a data type and click next. value set for this yet. Uh, this is not ideal because we have to manually remove the spacing here. A lot of spacing to remove. Well, let's do this real quick. I'm not really sure if this is going to cause any issues later on if we don't remove it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Now we are going to create a dependency between these two picklists so that when a region is selected only respective zones are available in the zone field. Interesting, I think we haven't created a dependency before between picklists, so let's have a look. For the account objects that are fields and relationships, yes we are still there. Check field dependencies, okay. And we create a new one. Select region as the controlling field. There we have it. And then zone as the dependent field. And continue. Select the appropriate zones in each column by double clicking them. I guess it helps if it's already if the pick list is already sorted in a way where this is easily done like in a matrix. I 
And there we go. Let's preview this. Oh, looks good. Let's close it and save it. Create a custom pick list field called Close Reason Editable as by sales users only. In the object manager, select opportunity. On the fields and relationships, select new. Class multi select. I just don't like the spacing. I don't know if it will actually affect the assessment at the end if we did all the steps, but I'm gonna remove this anyway. And there's six four visible lines. Description, let's copy this. For help text, let's copy this again and paste it. Read only select so it's easy. And set. Now we create a dependency between stage field and the new close reason field. Note not all stages values will have dependent close reason. While still viewing the opportunity object field relationship, click field dependencies button. Alright. At the top of the table, click next until you see close one and close last columns. There we go. And now we are supposed to Click all the values, double click. And looks good. And let's just save it.
Now we can just ignore this because it's just um, um, <clears throat> pardon me, it's just uh, about all these fields that are relevant. And now we are finished. By setting up picklist and field dependencies, you have helped Yukos and Amazon's team work more efficiently and keep their data clean. You continue to improve things for users in the next step when you create a lookup filters. Let's verify things, should be good to go, but let's see if there is anything. I left out. And the assessment is complete, let's tackle the next step.